Well, hello, Scorpios. Pardon the shadow. It is daytime here, daylight. But the fires, the smoke is so bad. It looks, I mean, it's totally overcast here. I love overcast weather, but you go outside and it's all smoke. So it's pretty bad. Anyway, Scorpio, this is going to be a um, your love reading for September 15th through the 30th of 2020. This is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It is a general read, so it may not resonate for all of you. So just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it does not resonate, you may want to check the other placements in your chart. Those can resonate more. My phone, my cards don't want to um, shuffle. Um, and even if this does resonate, sometimes you get more information that way, particularly Venus. Venus is about love, okay? Let's get rolling because these are uh, very short readings. They're called Tarot and Five. It's a series I have. I do Monday through Friday readings daily. Tarot and Five, so if you want to check those out if you haven't already. And I'm going to be doing the love reads. I may do them weekly. So, you know, let me know in the comments if that's something you'd be interested in. All right. Don't let pride get in your way. Damn, I, oh, I think it was Gemini that got that card. So if you're dealing with the Gemini, just go say. Um... I was going to say something else, now. I totally forgot. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Brain dead. Brain dead. Okay. Well, let's see what energies we have for you, Scorpio, okay? Let's see. All right. Well, spirits of normal shuffle, really? I don't want to waste time here. <laughs> okay. All right, then. Here we go. Ready? Got the deck. We're going to get some past energies. Queen of Pentacles, present energies, Page of Cups, ooh, might be new love, and Page of Wands, ooh, newness, 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 and the King of Cups, all right, emotional maturity. Okay, so here's what I'm hearing straight off the bat here, Scorpio. I am hearing that, and I will be shuffling the clarifying cards while I'm talking, so I don't waste time. The King of Cups, I'm hearing there's an emotional maturity here, okay? You're really in touch with your feelings. You do have feelings for somebody. This could very well be a brand new person with the two pages here. Um, in the past, you, you may have been a person who's been very um, calculated when it comes to getting into love situations. Um, you know, the Queen of Pentacles is very patient, very analytical, really in no hurry, has a lot of, of experience, but not in any hurry to push forward. However, you don't want to hold back too much because presently somebody wants to offer you a cup. This could be a younger person, could be a water sign. You have water sign here with a king in the page, could be a Pisces, a Cancer, another Scorpio, or this could be you. Okay, a queen could be uh, Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and this could be, so you have everything but air, and like I said, Gemini got that card, so you've got pretty much all the elements, but moving forward, let loose a little, Scorpio, you may be a little bit too controlled with, with your feelings, all right, Nine of Wands, the person, if you're dealing with the water sign, Nine of Wands, the Devil, could be a Capricorn, and the Ten of Wands, okay, and Four of Swords. You need to sit and think about this, okay? You may have been hurt in the past. Uh, it's time to think about your truth. I don't want to run out of time here. Okay, I'm just checking. The Nine of Wands is you've been wounded in the past, and you, you, you're you a little, I'm hearing you're a little reluctant. I don't know what you have in your chart, okay? So this may not resonate for everyone, but you may have Earth in your chart. You're, you're a little more reserved. Scorpios are very passionate people, as are, you know, water signs, but especially Scorpio. And you've, you've been very reserved about love situations, I think, in the past. You're worried about toxic behavior. You may have had to deal with that in the past, too. So it's time to let go of the burden of the past, Scorpio. Just let it go. Let it go because everybody's different. Every situation is different. Think about what you really want. You can actually think about the hurt that you've had in the past. That's fine. You can think about it. But work through that so you can come to your truth. And because you may, don't let pride get in your way. Don't don't let that hold you back from actually getting the love you may be so want and so deserve. Okay? Well, I'm going to run out of time soon. So, Scorpio, this is what I have for you. So, I'm hearing with the Four of Swords and the King of Cups, balance out your emotions and your thoughts here. What you may be thinking is maybe not what you're feeling in your heart. And those two need to be balanced so you can have good love. All right, good love. Um, thank you so much for tuning in, Scorpio. I hope you will join me again. I love you all. Peace out.